Anonymous Watch Guy here with an unboxing video. Quick wrist check. Wearing the Tudor Black Bay 41 Silver Dial today. Awesome watch. And today, as you can see, I have a watch from Junghans. Fan of the brand. They did include some Junghans swag in the place that I'd made the purchase from. Uh, you can see here we've got the box with our Junghans branding. Nice leather uh, covered box. Which Junghans did I pick up? Well, I picked up the new version of the Meister Pilot. This is the Jung Hans Meister Pilot Automatic in navy blue. And uh, I liked the look of this watch when I first saw it. And uh, I was able to get a pretty good deal on it, so I swiped it up. And uh, it is just a really awesome looking watch in person. So this is a 43 millimeter watch. It does have a 22 millimeter lug opening. I measured it at 49 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. It is a push pull crown there at the three o'clock position that is signed with the Junghans logo. Does still give you 100 meters water resistance. It is 12.5 millimeters thick. So it is a pretty thin watch, considering this does have a chronograph movement in it, even though it is not really a chronograph. But 12.5 millimeters thick. You do have a domed sapphire crystal that does have anti-reflective treatment on both sides. So you've got anti-reflective treatment on both sides of this crystal. It is a domed crystal. It looks really good. Great looking crystal. Great job on the anti-reflective treatment. Gives you an awesome shot of that kind of Fume style. Uh, navy blue dial. A really big fan of the look of this watch. This is running the Munghans Caliber J880.1 movement, which is essentially an ETA or Valjoux 7750. Uh, so this does have a chronograph movement in it. And my guess is that it's also the movement they would use for like a small seconds complication. Uh, as you can see, you've got your small seconds complication down here and your date complication at the top, which is, can kind of operate like a two register chronograph. So I'm assuming that's why they chose that particular movement. That does have 25 joules and 48 hours power reserve. So you've got a killer movement in this watch. Uh, this is all DLC coated stainless steel. So you've got a really nice job at the DLC coating on this. So diamond light coating, you know it is going to be extremely scratch resistant. Uh, really nice looking watch overall. Uh, love the overall look of it. It is a friction fit bezel. The bezel does turn. Uh, the date complication is a little different because you've got your... Um, your uh, even numbers are just a slash. Your odd numbers are the numbers. Your even numbers are a red slash. You can see us today is the 20th of October when I'm filming this unboxing video. Love the script Junghans uh, logo there at the 9 o'clock position. Just a beautiful watch. My only complaint is the place I bought it from didn't have it packaged properly. And the uh, AR on the outer side of the crystal has already been scratched. Uh, so not happy about that. You can see it right there. Uh, it doesn't come off. It's the AR coating that's been scratched. So I just uh, won't buy a watch from them again. That's as simple as that. But uh, other than that, the watch is in fabulous shape. Wonderful scrap, wonderful strap. I uh, love this navy blue strap with the matching stitch that matches the red, pop of red on the dial. Uh, leather, genuine leather, Junghans branded on the back. You've got your DLC buckle here as well with the Junghans logo. And you've got your Junghans Pilot uh, on the back with some specs going across the back there. Sapphire steel, uh, DLC coating, gorgeous watch. Love the case shape. Uh, just really awesome case shape, uh, really cool looking watch, something a little bit different. Uh, stay tuned for a full review video on this one. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it looks fantastic. 
This leather strap is just killer. Junghans does a really great job with their leather straps and uh, very comfortable on wrist. It is a larger watch. The bezel is a bit narrow, so that 43 millimeter, is, there's a lot of dial there, so it's gonna give you a lot of great wrist presence. Very legible to read at a glance with those big sword style hands. Uh, just a lot to like about this watch. Down the barrel, it's still below 50 millimeters lug to lug, so it should work uh, for a smaller wrist than mine, but a gorgeous watch. Stay tuned for the full review. The Junghans Meister Pilot. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.